Well, what's up? This is the Honda Fit Dude, and I'm doing a user review of a Canon air filter that I installed in my 2016 Honda Fit about a month ago. So I decided to go with an aftermarket Canon air filter at around 30,000 miles on my Honda Fit EX 2016. So I'm at 30,000 miles, which is my second air filter, and I decided to go with the Canon mainly for the reason that it is uh, reusable opposed to the OEM Honda, which are throwaway, so one time use. Once they're dirty, you throw them away and put a new one in. Also, provide links in the video description below to how to install the air filter, whether it be OEM or aftermarket. It's the same process, super easy, and you don't need to pay a dealership. Twenty dollars to install it for you. It is um, takes about five to ten minutes, and about level skill of two out of ten. So anybody can do it for the most part. So I'll leave links to those down below. I will also provide links in the video description below to the OEM Honda air filter as well as the Canon air filter that I have used. Both of the filters work for all Honda fits from 2015 all the way to 2019 year models. So one of the main differences between the OEM and the K&N filter is that the K&N filter is washable and can be used up to 100,000 miles. You do have to wash it and then use a refill oil kit, which I'm curious to see how that goes when I get to that point. But I'm just doing a kind of a comparison and seeing what the other increases um, or benefits to having a K&N aftermarket other than just the fact that it is washable. So the first thing that I noticed after installing it and um, still is that the car has a little bit more pep to it. The engine also at the higher speeds is a little bit louder and it just has a little bit more throat to the engine all around. Nothing um, too wild or crazy, it just is a little bit more, especially for a little economical car. So the acceleration also it gives you a little bit more added um, confidence when passing cars on the freeway as well as if you are trying to accelerate. I typically don't accelerate that fast but I did try just to see and it does have just a little bit more um, actual I guess less lag is I guess the best way to describe it. Um, when you hit the gas it is a little bit more direct at least it feels and also the, the um, throttle response is a lot faster. So, the last, uh, and, and one of the other things that I was an added benefit that I didn't even really think about was that because it has a little bit more airflow, it is actually more efficient and you do get a little bit better gas mileage with normal driving, um, which I did experience myself. I gained on average about two to three miles per gallon. So I typically was getting around 35 and after installing the k and I've been getting around 37 to 38 on average and that's a lot of freeway driving a little bit of city driving um, so I'm sure if it was more freeway it would be higher it definitely seems like it at around 65 performs a little bit better than the stock or OEM filter so this footage I don't know if you can tell is a little bit different it was taken on my dash cam that I just installed today don't mind the 2018, I didn't even have a chance to even adjust it to 2019 or get the clock right, but definitely um, wanted to try it out and just see how the picture image is and also how it kind of works. So I'll be doing a review of that in the near future. So anyways, back to the K&N fil air filter. Um, I think overall it has some definite pros that I've noticed so far. I am kind of curious to see how the washing period goes. And I do know that when you have to do the um, replacement of the oil, you have to buy a replacement package, which I think for two refills, it's around $20. So it is a little bit added cost there as well. For myself, it is definitely worth it. I like the added pep that, that it gives to the car. It makes it a little bit sportier. Um, with a little economical car, a little bit goes a long way, it seems like, just because it is so lightweight. The other thing that's cool is that Canon Air Filters also guarantees that it will not void your warranty if you do have any issues that arise. Um, so it is something that you don't have to worry about. It's not like a modification where you're going to void a warranty. 
And overall, I think with the increase in miles per gallon that I'm getting, I think it probably offsets um, the added cost or the initial cost for an extra you know, $25 over the lifetime of the car or the filter. Um, I think it will definitely pay for itself. And just the fact that it, it actually increases the performance of the car, I think it makes it uh, worth it alone for me. So if you're looking for something to make the car have a little bit more pep, I think this is a great way to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, peace.